Okay, you are fanatics. Welcome back to another episode of Bermuda Grass Central. Guys, some of you guys are trying to figure out how to get rid of those funguses in your lawn, all right? Now, in my lawn, it's not a real big issue, but it's, it's best to put a preventative measure down there. Oh, even if you have it, you need to get rid of it. In this video, BYD is going to show you some things that the average homeowner should absolutely know about treating those funguses in their lawn. Okay, Yard Finax. Now, this video is about lawn funguses and it's for the average homeowner. Now, a lot of people are always trying to figure out exactly what fungus they have in their lawn. Now, my lawn in particular, I have a uh, warm season lawn, which is Bermuda Tifway 419. All right, one of the things I found a few spots in my lawn, and the information I'm going to give you is real easy to understand, it's not super advanced. And you don't need to know all that stuff. All you need to know is what's going to treat it the fastest way if you find some in your lawn. All right, so check this out. So Yara Fanatic, sometimes you got to try to diagnose these things, but sometimes you just got to know what you're looking for. Now, what you're looking right there, um, some people would say a brown spot, or but brown spots don't, don't appear like that. That's a line. You know what that actually is? That was actually from my holes reel sitting there and it the grass start turning um, that golden yellow when you start suffocating your Bermuda grass now the remedy remove the hose reel and that'll come back that's not a fungus okay right here it may be considered a brown patch a dead spot in my lawn I don't know if anything I dropped there or spilled there so this probably would be an area that I would treat all right same here guys now this was actually bigger than what it is. It's been like three days and it's starting to disappear. But I'm not the fungus expert. And neither are you because you're the average homeowner. All right, now I'll show you how to fix that. Same thing here, guys. This is a bigger spot. But as I, I did my research, guess what it was? This is where my trash can was sitting on my grass. Remedy? Let it sit there for four or five days, sun and water, that'll come back also. Okay, you are for next. What I'm trying to say is when you're trying to diagnose these, these situations and you don't know if you got a lawn fungus, but you think you have one, there are two options. You have a granular and you have a liquid. All right, now the decision is which one do you use? Now I'm just gonna go ahead and spoil alert. Use the liquid. All right, and I'll dive into that right now. Okay, Yard Fanatics, you got two choices. You got the liquid and you got the granular. All right, let me run through the granular real quick. Now, when you apply this granular formula, most of the times when you read these bags, guys, let me, let me get up close and personal. Okay, Yard Fanatics, before I go any further, if you've already subscribed, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for helping Bermuda Grass Central grow. But those who haven't, glad, guys, Click that subscription button, ding that notification bell. Every time BYD uploads a video, you will be notified by YouTube. Most of the times it's gonna say uh, trees up to 5,000 square feet. And if you look at this one, it says pretty much the same thing right there. Trees up to 5,000 square feet. But I'm gonna deep dive in this right here. All right, 5,000 square feet. That's what this tire bag is supposed to treat and it's supposed to, you know, kill or treat a numerous products. I mean, um funguses brown patch you got dollar spot and you got a lot more guys red thread and all that stuff i'm not going to go through it but what i'm trying to get to is this when you apply this it's going to have rakes on the back now we're using the scott's deluxe um, edge guard right there and you see what it says um you're going to put this at the three and a half pound setting that's the heaviest setting right there you're going to put it on six all right and th the reason i'm telling you this is for a reason Okay guys, when you're applying these fungicides, if you have one, you're gonna have to go at a higher rate. The bag says it covers 5,000 square feet. That's the preventative rate. If you have a lawn fungus, you're gonna have to go at a higher rate. Now I'm not gonna get all into the technical, into the bag, but I need for you, anytime you get the product, 
Guys, please read the bag. Don't just go on here and say, oh, you saw this on YouTube. You have to read the product bag to understand that those rates may be slightly different. So if we're going, that bag says it covers 5,000 square feet. Um, if you put it on this certain setting here. But if you have a lawn fungus, you need to put it on this. Now, that's mean, that means you may reduce the amount from 5,000 to 3,500, even 2,500. Your, the rate is going to change based on your lawn conditions. So, okay, you are fanatics. If you think you have a lawn fungus, you'll set that on six. If you don't, you're trying to prevent it, 4.5. So let's just say we thought we had one. We got the Scott's Deluxe. I'm not gonna put this in here, but I'm just showing you how to set it at six So No. So a lot of times people, they don't do this and it's really not necessary, but I'm bringing it to your attention. You see that active ingredient right there? I'm gonna zoom. Propoconazole. Now it says it's only 0.15% of this in here. 99% inert ingredients. They're not telling us exactly what that is. But this is a slow acting formula. Okay, you are Finax. What means is this. Once you put it in that spreader and you spread it through the yard, you're gonna have to water it in for it to activate. Now, it takes a while for it to get down into the soil, which means it actually has to go down into the root zone. Then it's an uptake into the plant. Now, when it uptakes into the plant, that's when you're gonna get your protection. It's gonna protect it from the top down to the root. So BYD, why are you recommending the liquid over the granular? Gonna love this. Okay, that should be a picture up in the corner. Guys, if you look at that, that uh, propoconazole, you see it's at 2.42%. This has a higher rate, uh, a higher concentration of the fungicide in it. All right, and another thing is when you apply a liquid fungicide, so when you apply liquid fungicide, you're gonna get three-way protection almost immediately. When you spray it, it coats the plant, it immediately starts attacking the, fung the fungus. The second thing it does, it's absorbed from the leaf surface right then and there. So it's absorbed from, absorbed from the top, goes down to the bottom, and it's protecting the whole plant. So you're gonna get immediate Okay, response. so you're going to get an immediate response to the fungus that's on it. You're going to get outside protection because it coats the plant. And you're going to get inside protection because it's going to absorb through the leaf all the way to the root. And you'll cover three, ray, three ways basically immediately. You, it, there's no waiting. Whereas when you use a granular, you're going to have to either wait until it rains or... You're going to have to water it in. And even when you water it in, it's going to take a day or so for that stuff to actually go down, get into the root zone, then pull back up into the plant. This is the fastest way to get your protection. And they both basically cost the same thing. Okay, and another awesome thing about owning the liquid, guys, is look, it's hose in. You literally just screw it on there and you start spraying. It's just that simple. All right, and if you don't know how to apply this, guys, click on that corner up there. There's a video that shows you exactly how to apply this BioAdvance fungus control for lawns. All right, remember, no affiliation, no paid promotion. So, okay, you are for next. Now you know why I suggest that you go ahead and buy the liquid versus applying a granular fungicide to your lawn. A whole lot quicker. Um, the reaction is a whole lot faster. It's easier because all you need is a water hose um, and there's nothing to it. Plus, it contains a tad bit more of the active ingredient. Now, guys, before you start commenting, oh, you can get it online at 14.3%. That's fine, but this video is for the average homeowner. All right, now that 14.3%, that's, 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 that's high and you got to know exactly what you're doing. All right, this one is a whole lot safer and you shouldn't have any problems, all right? Also remember, when you apply these fungicides, you're only getting 20 to 30 days of protection. They say 30 on the, on the bottle or the bag, but I've seen where it wears off a whole lot quicker. If you're getting a lot, a lot of rain, it's a different story. So, But it's a great idea 
to go ahead to apply one as a preventative or as to correct a fungus problem in your lawn. So Yard Finax, hopefully this video um, answered that question, which one is the best one for you. Um, both of them are affordable, can be found, Home Depot, Lowe's. Matter of fact, I'll leave links in the description. You can order them through my Amazon affiliate program. Guys, remember when you order from that, you help Bermuda Grass Central out big time. There's also a PayPal link if you want to donate to the channel. Um, I have Cash App, anything to help this channel grow. So remember one thing, guys. You're tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman. I'll talk to you soon. And remember, the merch is available. Need to know more about BioAdvance? Click here. Need to know more about this? Click here. Guys, hit the subscription button. I'll talk to you soon.